Hey, hi guys. Um, it's a little bit unusual that we make an extra English video for a product, but this little baby here was a worth the extra mile. It's our new long range reconnaissance patrol top in Pencott Green Zone. It's genuine Green Zone 70D nylon fab uh, fabric, ripstop fabric. It's IRR treated, it's IRR safe and up to mill spec. You, feel, you will find the data sheet for the top in our web shop. And basically it's our classic pocket tarp in green zone fabric, but we added a few extra tricks like those small pockets here. And I know you all know the basic lean-tos, the basic shelters, the A-frames you can build with a tarp like these. But we have a little yeah, extra feature, a little modification made to the tarp so you can have the maximum space with a maximum protection. And within a few minutes we will show you how to do this. Stay tuned. So this is our next step. This is the material we will use for a little shelter. Um, so this is the next step. Um, the tent stakes, the carbon tent stakes are fitted and will now be put in in reverse position. And yeah, we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back from our little do-it-yourself session. And what we got is a max size super umbrella. But if I take this umbrella and turn it around like that, I get a max sized optimized shelter which uses the available space pretty neat. I have to adjust it a little bit. So and I just can lean it against a stick or a rock or something and have a really nice, wide, spacious shelter. But the great benefit of this is if the weather turns out to be real bad, if it's really pouring down very heavy, or the wind comes from all sides, I just can remove the support here and let the shelter down, and I'm protected from all sides with this shelter. And of course, that's great if you're hiking, if you're on a patrol, or generally on a mission. But of course, since this shelter is self-supported, you can do other stuff with it. And I want to show it to you now. Yeah, well, follow me. What we have here is a little dig-up shelter, a little, yeah, kind of a survival foxhole. And we used our shelter sheet, our tarp, with the stakes as a roof for it. In fact, it needs no more extra support and it's pretty sturdy. You have really good overhead space. You really use the space of the shelter perfectly and if you have to leave the area, uh, you don't have to remove some supports or something like that. You just remove the stakes put all the, uh, the stuff together and you go away and you leave no trace that you have been here at all. There's no tent sticks used at this setup, just put on top. Of course you can support it with some tent stakes, but this is just, really just, I go here and just grab into it and I'm ready to go and I'm away. I mean, in fact, no, it's, it's too strong actually. I can't dismantle it from the outside, but the only thing I have to do now is take, take the stakes out. I take my top and I'm ready to go. That's it. That's all that it is to it. You just pack it up and if you need it again, you assemble the stakes 
put the stakes into the top and you basically can throw it uh, everywhere you want to sleep. Yeah, that's it, that's it from me now. Um, I hope you were able to follow my kind of a crude German English and we won't see ourselves uh, within the next days so I will see you guys hopefully next year. Wish you a good season, good holidays, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and stay safe in 2016. Bye.